we're starting with the Incineroar, it looks like. Blue Incineroar, best color. Um, yeah, we'll see. I don't really know this matchup too well, because I don't know the, the DLC characters all that much. Um, Jerry likes to stay on the ground. Okay. And Incineroar also likes to stay on the ground. So it's basically just two brawlers going at it. It's going to be a lot of uh, floating spacing, it sounds like. Yes, sir. All right, well, let's get into it then. Um, I mean, Kram got an early lead so far, but here, co here comes Anton with some... Uh, oh, misses the grab. Jerry's got him off stage. Good dunk from uh, Harry. So now we're going with the up B, trying to catch him unaware. Good grab. Center only has so many options off stage. It's kind of easy to read. Oh, the power Good revenge. Got a forward air out of it. 150 on Incineroar. Jerry's got center stage. Ooh, he might have given it up. No, nope, he takes Ooh, the stock. Yeah, Craven a commanding lead so far. 66. Now this is all checks your credit at this point. Oh, yeah. One good thing about Incineroar keeping him at 66 is you don't want him to get above 100. Oh! What, the what a huge spike, though, from Cram. Now it's all of a sudden it's a three-stock lead. Up air. Oh, you could be Hungerbox and say three-stock lead. Yeah. It's whatever lead you want it to be. Right. You got a certain amount of stocks and you're ahead. Cram right now is just Set, though. He has ghost sauce too. Oh, oh good nair. Oh, good nair from telepathic. Getting the stock, trying to make the uh, comeback. He has 53% deficit on his last stock. It's gonna be a, a tough hill to climb, but we'll see what he can do. He's got a nair opening. Uh oh, missed a grab. That's very crucial. Ooh, high recovery. Caught Terry unawares. Oh, there's some there's some shenanigans. Up throw. Trying to catch an up air nair. All right, got him off stage. Terry's off stage. Still has extra stock. Oh! That spitting lariat was the uh, down stocking. Didn't do anything about it. Got so. dumped on. So Cram takes the first game. This is winner's final, so it's a best of five. It is best of five, yes. Yeah, so Anton definitely has time to come back. I think the water. 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 Yeah. water. What do you have? Surprise me. Water. Water. Surprise me. What do you have? He's got to find out. So. All right. So. What do you? What do you think the counterface is gonna be here? Hmm. Yeah, it's tough. We have a lot of fun stages on. We do. Today. We do. So. Is that not thinking, like, I want to have fun, or is he thinking, I want to win this event? Well, you can win with fun by cheese. That's true, but he, he wants to win. He's in the winning Battlefield. Mood. This might be a Falco. It's a good Falco stage. I don't, I, somebody else going to do it? Let's see. Anton, you know it's best of five? Yeah. Finals, winner's finals? Oh. I talked him out of it. Oh, it's going with the Morton. Ooh, I did not see this coming. Wait, he's debating it? Look, look, look at the determination on his face and the thought. The gears are turning. Oh, he goes to, ooh, ooh, ooh he can't dismiss somebody he'd rob. Oh, Duck Hunt? It's Morton. The gears have turned and he decided on Morton. We'll see if it pays off. Sticks with important. Let's see if the more pick will pay off. I'm not sure if I like this pick as much as I thought. I mean, he's got more range, but he, he's better like in the air. He has a few projectiles. I feel like might be combo a little bit easier. Though. Yeah, sure. Martin's a little heavy. It's so similar to be fair, but I don't think I think it's had a lot more offensive options. But we'll see what happens. Martin does have a few more get-off-me options with Uppy and Nair. It's true, that's true. 
that's true. And I, I mean, the way now, the way Morton players, or Bowser Jr. players, whatever you want to call it, play, is people don't know the matchups, they just win. Yep. So maybe that's what we're going to see here. That's the light effect. There was a last chance qualifier for a summit, which is a new, summit's an invitational. Yeah, yeah, I know what summit is. And the light was at it, and he got knocked out very early by a Bowser Jr. Looks like there might be a cat interference on the players right now. <laughs> Anthony, is there a cat interference? No, not anymore. Looks like there might have been for a second. I think that's why they're at 0% zero, zero two stocks. Yeah, like the cat look has, has appeared. Yep. What an adorable air. cat it is. Good back air. Now Morton has a commanding lead, 91%. He's got to try to find the stock without giving him go sauce. Or just keep him in the air, because go sauce is only active. It can only be activated on the ground. Right. He's doing a good job of it. He's got him off stage with a cannonball. Oh, he got ledge. Gets back off stage. What was he go sauce used? Graham is center stage. Oh, backer's going to take it. What a good back air by Telepathic. Proved me wrong on the counter thing. Looks like it's working out a lot better so far. Mm hmm. Be a oh, oh wow. he makes it back. Barely I, snagged the ledge. Yeah. I think have easily taken that uh, right there. Mm -hmm. He just missed the ledge guard. All right. 1% only on Terry, though. He's doing a good job of not taking damage. Yeah. Oh, good power dunk. That's not going to kill just yet. Recovery for Telepathic. Oh, wow. Spot dodge that down smash. Gave him the fourth. Get him the fork and the tongue. Oh, fork wasn't long enough. All right. Very close game. Last yeah, stock. Even game right here. With that being said, uh, tough has to some early damage. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Do wow. Dash attack. Oh, oh we fell down. Oh, oh. Okay. A little bit of shenanigans off stage. I'm surprised Cram's going off stage as much as we're seeing, because I know Terry's not good off stage. So I'm surprised we're seeing uh, that much uh, reach right. for here. We know Bowser Jr. is completely immobile once he loses his clown car after that's an true, upbeat. That's true, that's true. He can only attack. He can't even air dodge, I don't think. Okay, high recovery. Oh. He's got go sauce, though. Anything could be possible. It's true. 43% only. Is this, a, is, this a, is this a percent where go sauce would kill? Uh, it'd be close. Depends on which one he goes for. Off stage right now, just one good edge guard. Oh, good up fetch! And he catches up, and that's gonna be game two for telepathic. Beautiful. I wouldn't even say that was uh, bad matchup knowledge because he did a really good. The Cram did. did a good job. He did. He did. Maybe the Morton's just the better play for Anton right now. Yep. Anton might be learning the matchup while we speak, while he plays. We have Nigel Thornberry dancing in the background currently. It's a mix between Nigel Thornberry and Crocodile Hunter. He has the swag of Nigel Thornberry and the outfit of the Crocodile Hunter. Oh, Dan, he's hitting it. He's got them schmooze. I wonder if we'll see the floss come out. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen him floss. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, he's in the Ludwig. Oh, he's got the Ludwig. He's in the Luddy. Oh, he's doing it better than XQC, I yeah, gotta he say. He hit the fan when he was doing the Luddy, but... That's okay. It can't all be perfect. Yeah. Morton is goaded. Lenny Lenny F tier, Morton S tier. True. I think, uh, I think Wendy's definitely an A tier. Wendy? At, yeah, yeah, yeah. At lowest. Right, you have to give it up for the women. Right. The worst is Iggy. Oh, and, uh, I think Iggy or Lenny are the worst. Lenny? I always hated Ludwig because he just looks the stupidest. I think he has buck teeth, too. The weirdest voice. He's probably mid. He's probably, like, straight down the middle, mid. All right, well, uh, we the got board, it. Oh, the bait, the buy lift counter pick from Cram. Female, of course, superior buy lift. Mm. Are you familiar with Fire Emblem? A little bit. I played, uh, I played Awakening. Okay, that's, that's like, it. that's like the most mainstream one. Yeah, I mean, I like 
like that one, but I was never a huge Fire Emblem fan. I've only played Sacred Stones on the Game Boy Advance. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so I'm not even familiar with Violet's moves. Not really. I know she has a lot of hard-hitting, long-range moves, but... If you think of Monster Hunter, mm -hmm. she has just what you would imagine Monster Hunter would have. Just a ton of random stuff. Gotcha. The theory is that a Monster Hunter character was planned, but the they couldn't, like, keep a contract with Capcom or whatever. Yeah. And they just put it on a Nintendo character. I see, I see. That's, a, that's the working theory. We'll never know. Actually, yeah. Sakurai has his own YouTube channel. He wants he wants to His most today. recent NBA. video is of unseen gameplay of the original N64 game that Smash Bros. was supposed to be. Ooh. Called Dragon Fighters or whatever. Yeah, but I feel like anything Smash is going to be NDA where you can't talk about it. Yeah, especially for Ultimate. Anything like behind the scenes. Maybe for like Smash 4. Because it's so old, no one cares. The NDA is probably ended. Like, if he, he could talk about how he got Cloud into Smash 4, because that must have taken a lot. That was crazy. And how he immediately had to do Smash Ultimate to make up for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. But anyways, and how there was no music, there was like two songs. Yeah. Because they couldn't afford it, probably. Yeah. Anyways, Graham got the early lead, though. Yeah, yeah it's good to see. Like. But, uh, uh, Anton trying to do his best off stage, but he can't get the edge guard. Crimp's keeping on out of range with that bow right now. Yeah. One of the battle's best options is aerials. She's got like the Peloton in air. Her air side side aerials are really long. They have hit they have uh, sweet spots. So you can take early stocks. Oh, that's gonna be it. He used the LP and it got hit out of it. Whoa. Oh, that's gonna be the stock. That was quite a game. I was gonna say Telepathic has been having great edge guards, it seems like. It's setting up for a lot, but when stuff like that happens and it's just over for Morton. That being said, good back air from Telepathy mm -hmm. getting on the board finally. He's down a full stock, but it, it's bench will come back from. Oh, oh okay. Jabs, he's getting a jab himself. Forward to Oh, oh! Wow. Oh, that, that explosion almost hit Violet. Yep. That is one of the strongest jabs in the game. It can kill if you're not paying attention. The finisher. It's just one big uppercut punch. Okay, trying to connect something with the cannonball, not getting anything out of it. Up tilt from Violet into up air. Ooh, this is not looking for telepathic. Another up air, 100% on Morton on his last stock. Oh, Ooh, big down smash. He did, he did uh, his tilt the wrong way, unfortunately. It cost him the game. It's still, it's still best of five. Yes. So we still got a chance for um, telepathic. Chance telepathic to come back. I, I believe in the game five. I do too. I'm a big, I'm a big believer. I do too. We'll see what happens here. Zach. Sorry, you're in the middle of something. I should have died one half of these red so I could be the new Fire Emblem character. <laughs> or you could just make me a VR character because it was designed by a VR artist. Sticking with Byleth. Anton does have experience fighting Byleth. Yeah. Both me and Lug, er, Lugnut both play Byleth quite a bit. Is he like a Piranha player? More Iggy. Ooh, we're gonna have to keep Iggy? Can we see it? This is the Smash 4 main. Oh, can you guys see the lines? Click. I got the DD counter pick here. Let's see if this helps. I'm not. I don't know. I don't know. By the way, to say how good this is for the matchup, but. I guess 
I think it does. I think I think a better recovery for They're both slow. Maybe, but King maybe. Dedede's attacks are a lot heavy hitting. That's true. M maybe Telepathic feels more comfortable right now with uh, with the DZ. Yes. It's doing better so far. This but. is a Smash Four man. And DDD's much better in this game than he was in Smash 4. He already looks a lot more comfortable with DDD right now. From what I'm seeing. His aerials might just outrange all of Graham's aerials. That could yeah. be one of the plans. I don't think I've ever seen this match. match Portal up stage? Oh my god. <laughs> Ryan, whatever Anton plays is goaded. Um, so oh, oh, good up oh, smash! Reading the roll in. Wow, the D looking strong right now. The return of the king looking good for uh, Telvatnik right now. We'll Big down back. smash, even up the percent. Oh, oh sucked up the corner. It was in his back. That's crazy. Okay, go low recovery. Yep, good recovery, good recovery from Anton. Telepathic's looking for an opening. He's even giving up center stage. He knows he has a huge lead. Cram has to come to him. Violet is bad. One of the worst at coming to people. Oh my gosh. All right, up air is not enough. King Dedede is quite heavy. Yeah. All of a sudden, uh, there's a two-stop lead right now for Telepathic. Looks like a completely different game from the last game. I'm kind of loving this. They're switching every time they yeah. lose, and then they're making it up for it. This is 100 IQ uh, Smash right now. Yep. This is the future of Smash. You just counterpick every single stock, <laughs> every game. We're eventually just going to play the game, that mode where you switch characters every single stock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just going to be the game forever. Yeah. It's going to be all mind games. Good approach with the Nair to the up smash. Ooh, good air dodge, center stage. Cannot figure out a way around these Gordos yet. Yeah, it's not bad like spacing with these Gordos, which has been phenomenal this game. All right, Ooh, trying to read a finish. dodge. Yeah, it's a little bit doable right now, but oh. as I say that. Wow, that attack was beautiful. There into nothing. Oh god, a good forward air, forward throw. Oh, oh it cost him. Anton going for. He, he we spent everything on that. He was trying to make a clip right there. He said you're not coming back from this. I'm gonna suck ya. Trying to snipe him with a Gordo off stage, up air. Not gonna be high enough. Gordo kills soon. Now 148 for Graham right now. Right, be very carefully wants to can still back. do this. It is King Dedede after all. A few Nair strings. Oh, but there! Big <laughs> belly! Oh, telepathic with the Dedede. What a good end screen. Look how happy Dedede was on that end screen. All of a sudden, we're going to game five in the winner's finals. Now, I gotta talk about mental. You make it to game five and you just lost to a Dedede? I don't know what happens to your mental after that. I don't think it's enough that crap. I think he's got a counter pick ready to go. Yeah. And we'll see what happens. Uh huh. I'm, I might agree with you. I think he's got a character counter pick ready to go. And he gets the stage counter pick. Yeah. Stage is pretty big. So, assuming that Telpat is going to stay DD, uh, I'm, I'm very curious to what the counter pick is. Northern Cave. Okay. Well, first we'll see if Telpat stays. I know it's not going to hear me. Just ignore Keep going. <laughs> Isn't it control plus? Oh, oh, it's self evident about changing already. Oh, he's changing pre. He, remember, he won yeah. the game, so he's got to pick the character first. Oh, we're going all full circle. Possibly. Incineroar? Now, Cram beat Incineroar, but he was using Terry, right? Yeah, he can go right back to that Terry, too, though. He could. And Anton beat the Terry once. They both beat. Yeah, so it's going to be nuts. Let's see what Anton's thinking. He's, he's debating, though. The wheels are turning. He locks in DDD. And there comes the Terry. Ended on Terry. 
Can you put in like the gray area right there just so I can turn that line? There you go. Here we go. And here, here we go. Game five, DD versus Terry. Cram was ready for whatever uh, pick he had. We'll see if it's going to work out. Right now it looks good. Oh, but oh, a lot of damage from Telepathic right there. Mm hmm. About even. Both have center stage. Just looking for an opening. Ooh. A little bit of damage. Oh, good back air from King DDD. Just jumped into a grab. Low recovery, gonna work out for him. Ooh, forward air. Excellent air dodge. Oh! Fast fall, but he's good, he's good. There's a lot of shenanigans going on. There, into back air, nothing. Forward throw. Good hammer, I like the hammer approach coming up. Yep. Oh, I don't know what the suck it. gets to get punished for that. Dude, he's trying to get some Gordos in there. He's off stage though. 100%. Terry does not have Ghost Sauce. This is like probably the least amount of damage he can have before Ghost Sauce. A lot of right now on the center stage. Yep. Are you okay? Oh. Wasn't going to connect. Hi, we're going! Oh, he's going to get punished he big time. He got punished for it. The first stock goes to Cram. Okay. Terry's up high. Got to be nervous oh, about just going for Ghost Sauce. Oh, he's he finally got the back air. It's incredible. The fourth backer has worked throughout a bit. He's still uh, going for him. Right now. They don't, both don't want to approach fully. Yep. Um, nice power dunk from the Terry. TDD's not able to connect with anything. Reading the roll. 50%. Got a roll. Gordo. Oh, wow. He was able to pull out the shield right before the Gordo hit. Terry. Wow, I got the right answer. Okay, got a good back throw. Got Terry off stage. 64%. Good dash attack. Trying to get a roll. Back here's not going to connect. Power dunk. Not going to kill this early. 125%. Low recovery. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, he wasn't ready for it. That's okay. Looking for the back air. Oh, Terry went for an attack. Oh, the world's ending behind them. And he's good air dodge. Out. Gonna kick him off stage. Only 133. No ghost sauce yet for Terry. He's just he's inches away. Not gonna need it. Oh, power duck doesn't kill just yet. Oh, oh. big up air under the stage. Ghost sauce is on. Oh, oh. oh good shield. Footsies! Oh it goes ah! us! Power guys are. Just playing it on every we're not thing. okay! Everything we're not okay! 100% right on Terry still. Oh, dash yeah. attack! Wow! Alright. Yep. Last stock telepathic. Can he give this up? Forward air. The, the platforms guard from the oh! Gordo so well. What a dodge from telepathic! Back throw? Good back throw. Like, the platforms are so good for Terry for dodging the Gordos. Right, right. Gordos are no longer a ledge trapping option. Oh, good fair. We're okay. even. Game five, last stock between Telepathy and Cram. Here we go. Oh, got a grab up air. He's taking the lead. Oh, with the down smash. Another power dunk. Terry has the lead now, 47-72. Oh, another power dunk. Oh, air dodge to the ledge. I really thought that was going to miss. Nair into nothing. Oh, wow, called him out. Okay, just holding center stage. Oh, good forward tilt. Oh, got the suck on the Gordo. I don't know how it was still there. Grab control. Oh, 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 let's him back on stage. This could be huge for Delbathic. Forward air. Gets him off. The ghost on 100%. Stage. Oh, oh, smash. Nair. What a set! Telepathic wins. Holy Cramming moly! Cramming the losers finals. I can't believe it. What a match.